Cheers. Okay. And Bo Salam again. And this is Ashishre. I'm going to just show you the uh, recipe for Ashishre. Every time that I make tachi, what I do is, or every time that I boil a uh, chicken, I save the broth. So um, I already have the broth here. This is broth, of, uh, chicken broth, and the same as much as I had chicken broth, I added water. Now I'm gonna turn this on. We have two cups of cooked, three cups of cooked uh, lentils, two, three cups of garbanzo beans and kidney beans. I've already uh, done my uh, uh, garlic and onion and uh, mint. I've already sauteed those. And I'm, for garnishing, I'm going to use uh, onion and garlic and uh, mint. So what I do right now is I'm going to add the lentil to the, excuse me, I'm gonna add the lentil to the broth. Because everything is cooked, this is going to be very fast. And now what do we do for the what I use for uh, vegetable, I use the spinach, and I use also, I use a lot of beets. Beets are good for you. So what I do is I save the leaves and I freeze them. Already here. So I'm going to add and the spinach. You were asking for fast and this is as fast as it gets. So in a matter of half an hour, you will have a shishte. I also add the garbanzo beans and pepper, salt to taste. green onions, I mean the garlic, onion, and mint. So what I do, now I need to add a turmeric to this. So what I do is, to put the turmeric here and add some hot water to it. So that's as, as speedy as you can get. Now we're gonna wait for maybe half an hour for the vegetable to cook. Then I'm going to add uh, the pasta or reshte. I'll bring this to boil. One thing that I want to share with you is for the reshte we need to add some flour. 
every time that you want to add flour to any dish, you make sure that you don't put the flour, just add the flour, not the way it is. You always have to cook the flour. Otherwise, it could be all lumpy. So, I'm going to add some hot water to this. And stir it well. And take all the lumps. And if I need more water, I'll add more water. And that thickens the broth, this thickens the osh because it just blends everything together. I know I add this after I add the pasta. See, I'm taking all the lumps. It has to be in the form of liquid when you add it. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. Take all the lumps away. And this is one way of thickening. If any time that you have soup or anything that you need to thicken, this is the key. Okay. Just gonna let it, we wait, we wait till this comes to boil. You can, of course, you can add uh, fresh vegetables or cook your own kidney beans and uh, garbanzo beans, uh, buy the dry ones and cook it. But I love to cook everything in advance because my friends are impatient and they can't wait for us to stay or any food to go through the course of the cooking procedure. So. As soon as they walk in, they want something to eat. So I think we've got enough. And I'm going to cover this and watch it to make sure that it comes to boil. When it comes to boil, and I'm, it shows that, you know, you see that the vegetable is cooked, then you start adding the uh, reshte and the, the flour. So this is going to take uh, about half an hour or 45 minutes for this uh, to get ready. So I'll come back and show you uh, the next step to making our shishte. Okay, now we are going to add pasta or the reshte to the ash. The amount of the reshte that you use, it all depends on how much reshte actually or pasta you want in your osh. If you like more, you add more. I have added, I'm adding the whole package. To this. After you add, after we add the rishteh, 
then I'm going to add the flour that we talked about and I mix with water. Stir it well. And we let this cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. If you see the flour are bubbling, you know, the lumps of flour, you just go and then crack them. Of course, after they boil for a while, they dissolve anyway, but okay. We let this sit. <clears throat> then we will come back for the presentation. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to add, you see how beautifully blended the osh is. Now I have to add the whey cask. Of course, there are some people who uh, don't like to put any cash or, uh, in the ashish day or they eat, eat it either with vinegar or just plain. I like mine with cash. If you see the container, I, make, I bring my cash from Iran and I make it myself and I freeze it. That's what, that's why it's in sour cream container. Okay. I love to serve the Ashishte or Shorazar or this kind of dishes in a traditional uh, bowl. This is from my great grandmother and it's a very antique soup bowl from, wow, maybe 200 years ago. So, <clears throat> Olden days, I remember when my uh, grandmother was making osh, they would, they had a special spoon, I shouldn't say spoon, it was a big bowl that they would dish the osh from into any serving dish that they wanted to serve. Good. 
I wish you were here so you guys could taste it. And it's very traditional to decorate Hashishde and Sholazard and all that. So I'm going to do my best. Really now we are going to do the, do the garnishing. For garnishing, I have payment. They normally this is how they decorate the Oshishta with Kaime, uh, fried onion, mint and garlic, saffron, and also some whey or cash. I'd like to add a little bit of salt to this. You stay here, let me see. Okay, my guests are arriving. That's why I had to open the door. The gate apparently was closed. Here comes my beautiful friend. My sweetheart, you are making a shish day. Hey, hey. Hi. How beautiful. Oh my God. I can say I arrived on time. Yes. <laughs> you missed few of the appetizers. Oh, wow. Lovely. No.
okay. in my way so now bon appetit